Welcome back again, my good friend. <laughs> it seems a hero's work is never done, eh? What can I do for you? Captain Blood. Oh, yes, El... I mean, my mentor, Don Rafael, told me the tale. El Doro and Captain Blood fought on a cliff high over Gold Creek. El Doro cut off the pirate's hand, and it fell, along with his sword, into the lake high above the creek. Why do you ask? What? The greatest evil Santa Pollo has ever known is back. You will not fight alone. El Duro shall join you for justice. Not so fast. If you think I'm going to sit this adventure out, you're crazy. You must hold your breath while you search. Swim swiftly like the salmon, or you will drown. Watch this. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> you found the hand. I am impressed. Now, to find the captain's cards. Miranda. The ghost town where Captain Blood played his game with death. That's where the cards are. Sabatini tried to destroy Blood's cards during his mutiny, but they ended up scattered all over the town in the confusion. Beware, pirate. Miranda is a terrible place. When Blood cheated death, terrible things happened. The place is cursed. Watch yourself. By the tickling of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. 
This place is drowned in shadow and bad mojo. Evil deeds been done here, and the dead, they still suffer. Go careful. Hello there. Can you help me, please? transportation away from here at once cards i'm sure i don't know anything about cards or card playing the dealer down at the saloon could help but oh no there it's more than pirates get them get them all Where'd that lady go? Never mind her. Let's get to the saloon and quick. Sorry, stranger. This table is still occupied. The game's not finished. You want to finish the game? Very well. You'll need to bring a missing hand of cards back and play them. I know where they are. All of them. To find the first, head back to the general store at the edge of town and find Father Ryan. He holds the first card. You, you're a pirate, aren't you? But not one of them. 
I can see the virtue in your heart. I don't know what black magic Captain Blood snared us in, but it's clear his cards are the key. I'll give you the card I found if you help me. Blood's pirates ripped my prayer book to pieces. Without those prayers, I can't give the last rites to these poor souls. The pages from my prayer book are scattered all over. Bring them back to me, and I'll give you this card. You're as good as your word, pirate. And so am I. Here is the card. Now I must pray. May you walk a righteous path. There are four more cards to find. Let's get back to the dealer. Welcome back, stranger. You ready to play that card? No, Captain, wait. You will not play these cards. Captain Blood will. We'll see about that. You have one card. Time for the next. When El Toro defeated Captain Blood, he buried the pirate in a shallow grave. Mr. Ockley, one of the mutineers, is waiting near that grave for you. He holds the second card you seek.
You've seen to me, mates. I thank you for it. Here's the card. Three left. Let's see where the next one is. Not all the cards ended up in friendly hands. Captain Blood's bosun found one and has kept it close to his dead chest ever since. Bosun Bud is hiding in the old mine near town. He's dead set on keeping his card away from anyone except Captain Blood. You'll have to take it. Sound be near, Captain, my Captain. In the deepest part of his mind, we shall find what we seek. What's this? Another traitor come and try to kill our Captain? Ha! I'm gonna have no end of fun teaching ye the error of your way. Orson's car. Let's go find out where the next one be.
two cards remain, stranger. To get the next, you'll need to find the only living soul in Miranda. Besides you and your crew, that is. A gambler named Pickman wandered into Miranda a while back, drawn by the legend of Blood's cards. He found one. Maybe he'll give it to you. Look for him in the old mill. He's close. No! Oh, wait. You're still breathing, like me. How the blazes did you get here? Captain Blood's cards? They're not worth it, friend. Have you seen the hideous things walking around in this place? I managed to find one card, but then the dead. They trapped me here. There's no way I'll make it to the docks. I'm a goner for sure. Unless... You look a tough sort. If you can clear me a path to the docks, I'll give you the guard. What do you say? Pirates, you will rue the day you attacked our fair town. Get them! Get them all! Oh, 
Our virtuous blades drive back the darkness. The way is open. Pikmin can escape. Thank you, Captain. You've saved my worthless soul. Here's the card. My advice to you is get rid of it as soon as you can. Almost ready, stranger. Only one card left. Captain Blood's last card lies buried under the ashes of a farmhouse not far from here. The end of this game's been a long time coming. Good luck, stranger. It's the card. Time to finish Captain Blood's game and for death to take him due. There's a card game waiting to be finished here. You brought the missing cards back to the table. Are the players here? One is. The other will be here directly, I expect. Captain, place Blood's hand upon the table. Time for the showdown. Stop! What's this? What's this? Too late, Captain. The cards are played by your own hand. Two pair. Aces and eights. Death's flush wins. And you, Captain Blood, you lose. Me hand? Ha! Cheaters! Thieves! I'm not lost yet. Someone still has to kill me. Who's going to do it? This pirate here? This whelp? Ha! This whelp did not come alone. El Toro! Is that you? You look different. If I look bigger... It is only because your evil has shriveled you down to nothing. Today you meet your end. Have at you! this Yeah. 
Do watch this. Hi, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness all of that's over. Why these egomaniacs continually think they can hoodwink me and get away with it, I'll never understand. Thank you, Captain. Well done. You've done me quite a favor. Off you go, then. Oh, don't worry. We'll meet again. Take your time. We did it! We got the key to Blood's treasure! Har! We've done far more than that. Do try to tidy up a bit before you go. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's mess. There's someone who wants a word with you. You did it! You set us free! Thank you, stranger! Captain Blood is finally no more! His curse is broken! My spirit is free now to rest in peace. All of Miranda is free. Thank you. You've got the key. Go to the Motherlode mine. You'll find Blood's treasure. Captain Blood be gone, my captain. But I and I sense him evil still remain. On the way to the mine, we must break him, go ship fleet. Look at that! It's the Santa Oro, the ship Marco Polo took to El Dorado. The second piece of the map must be on it somewhere. Blocked. 
Now what do we do? We could blast our way in. There must be dynamite down here somewhere. I spy the minecart further up the tracks. Quickly, we must put the dynamite in the cart and send it down the tracks. Wouldn't it have been simpler to set the dynamite against the rocks ourselves? Well, perhaps. But it would have had far less dramatic flair. Captain Blood's treasure is found. This makes two legendary hordes for you, right, Captain? Stop. Stand where you are. You're caught, pirate. There will be no escape for you this time. You've proved the perfect tool to further my efforts. When I'm finished here, the Armada will control half the map. Kane seems to think you're a grave risk to his plans. I shall be proud to prove him wrong. I suppose I owe you my thanks, pirate. In return, I give you my solemn pledge that your end shall be swift and painless. Destroy them! this yes captain will do
Watch this. You have mighty enemies, my friend. Who was that? Deacon was an agent of the Armada who imprisoned the captain and me. Revenge is served at last, and it is sweet. He was at Boot Hill too. I think the Duck of Death was working for him. The Armada's a lot closer on our heels than we thought. Enough of that. Let's search the ship. Those chests there, they must hold Captain Blood's treasure. Can't say I'm impressed by the size of Captain Bud's treasure. Where's all of Marco Poyo's gold? Don't you see? Captain Blood stole Marco Poyo's gold. The name of the ship, Santo Oro, means holy gold. The ship is Poyo's treasure. What? That ain't fair. It could be worse. Water moles might have thrown all the gold in a volcano. Ah! Here's the bottle for this ship. This ship is ours. Very old, but still skyworthy. Oh, and it has a green windstone. Now that we have a ship from Mushu, we 
can pass the stone gate, I can go home. Aha! Here's the second piece of Marco Pollo's map. It be Pollo's map for certain. This be the true treasure here. We now be one step closer to El Dorado. But how we find the next piece? Hmm. There's another thing here too. A strange picture. That's a photograph, you silly girl. Were you born in a barn? I say, it's Marco Pollo's crew, standing in El Dorado. Look at them. Why, bless my soul. Captain, a woman there. It's your mother. What? The captain's mother went to El Dorado. Why didn't you say something sooner? She never spoke of it. But look, the other members of the crew, if they're still alive, they must know where the rest of the map is. But who are they? And where do we find them? Perhaps that historian back in Cooper's Roost, Argleston, can tell us who they are. Well, let's get to it then. Bottle up that ship and we'll be out of here. Look at that. A new ship, Captain. Your best yet. Ah, we meet again. I hear you made out well in your search for El Toro. Did you find Captain Blatt's lair? You did. Astounding. Oh, what a find. The Santo Oro. Marco Poyo's second ship from Mushu. Her name means sacred gold. Interesting. The markings on this map are also from Mushu. Some form of Buddhist mysticism. You'd need to go to Mushu to translate them. This photograph is fascinating. Ah, there's Poyo himself. I don't recognize the others. I'm afraid I'm rather weak at nautical history. Captain Avery's the wisest pirate we know. Skull Island, here we come. 